there's so many excuses we have for not training or not getting our food in or whatever it may be, but I really felt compelled to push through somehow and make it to Olympia. Somehow, you know, if you really prioritize things, take care of what you need to take care of, the most important things in your life, then you know what, sometimes if we're not trying to take total control over what we can do with our prep, um, you know, sometimes just focusing on other things and letting your body settle into where it needs to be to, for you to be ultimately more prepared, uh, things can work out better than you imagined. And that was certainly the case for me. kind of try to be 100% at everything, so it's pretty exhausting. Um, I wake up tired, but boy, it's one of those things where it, it energizes you because you know you're doing things that excite you. So even though I'm tired, um, I, I love waking up in the morning and going, okay, I have some amazing things that I want to accomplish today and cool people that I get to work with, so it's, it's pretty amazing. I was going to ask you about your nephew passing away. Can you talk about it a little bit? That seemed to be a significant moment in your life. Yeah, so that would have been back in uh, 2012. You and I spoke, and my nephew, uh, he was four, passed away from liver cancer. And, you know, that was kind of a pivotal moment. You look back in your life and you go, okay, what are the, the things that you can say truly altered your life and, and, more importantly, your way of thinking? And I know that was certainly one of those those moments um, you know it, he really taught me that life is short we need to make the most of the time we do have um, in all of those moments you know I don't like wasting time so that's again why I think I wake up I feel like I've got a million things going on is because I want to make the most of every minute that I have and make sure that I'm um, fulfilling my purpose and my potential and the reason I was put on this plan and I think um, has a reason and, and should fuel me each day. So that, you know, it, that inspiration um, led me to get back to the stage competing again um, after about a 13 year break. Um, and so that moment um, I got back on and, and won that show and then two years later I got my pro card and at that moment I said, you know what? Let's go to the Olympia and continue training, continue pushing, and made it to Olympia stage. So it's, I feel honored that kind of the pinnacle of my career is now happening in my 40s, which, um, you know, I could have, I guess, given up on years ago, but there was something that told me, you know, you're not done with that chapter. And um, to reopen that was, was really something very fulfilling, and I'm glad I did.